encouragement you know, to the students for life. Uh, I do have to say, though, that I'm, I'm, uh, I don't think I'm, I am the most passionate pro-lifer in my family. Uh, she's sitting in the back of the room. Karen Pence, my wife of 25 years, is with us. And, uh, Karen uh, has been on the national board of uh, Right to Life and uh, uh, you know, routinely uh, asked me, what, what, have, what have you done for life lately? So, uh, 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 and I think that's really the question that we should all be asking. There's going to be a lot of issues talked about at the podium today. I'm going to be speaking at... Uh, uh, at 11 a.m., I hope you all are back in the room. And, and we'll be talking about the cause of life. We'll be talking about the fact that this administration is the most pro-abortion government in American history. Uh, it really is astonishing when you think about uh, from the very moment this president took office, uh, within, within days he had overturned the me historic Mexico City policy. He'd authorized funding of uh, research that destroys human embryos in, in the name of science. They jammed through a government-run insurance plan that provides public uh, support uh, for abortion. Uh, and, uh, and all the while, seeking ways to expand funding for abortion at home and abroad. Uh, and, uh, uh, and we'll talk about those things from the podium. But as we talk about all the other issues, I, I want you to know that, that from our family standpoint, the issue you're involved with here in this room is where it really all begins. And I really believe that the present crisis our nation is facing is not just economic and political, but it's moral in nature. And there's something eating away at the moral center of this country, and the American people know it. And I think the cancer on our national character is abortion. The cancer uh, on the conscience of America is abortion. We know in our heart of hearts that we're a better country than that. We know in our heart of hearts that we can afford uh, young women better choices than that. Uh, and, I, and I think what we're witnessing today is an awakening across this country. Uh, it's an awakening that has uh, come to Capitol Hill with our effort in the last three years uh, to deny all federal funding to Planned Parenthood of America, but we need your support in that fight. But it's also manifested in the work that every one of you are doing. You've heard this morning about political activism. You've heard this morning about campus activism. What I would like to challenge you with is, is to affirm all of those things, but also to be a part of a dialogue in your generation that I think is winning the cause of life. Uh, I, I truly believe that as, as you've seen in, in one survey after another, the progress that has been made of life, particularly among younger Americans, it suggests that beyond the compassion of crisis pregnancy centers, beyond the, the battles on the floor of the Congress, beyond the March for Life on the National Mall, uh, and, uh, and the peaceful protests outside abortion clinics, that there's something even more profound going on. And that is that in the quiet councils between mothers and daughters, between grandmothers, and granddaughters the truth about abortion is being told. And I truly believe that I'm looking, and I bet you Phyllis agrees with me too, I think I'm looking at the generation of women that's going to restore the sanctity of life to the center of American law. And I say very specifically this generation, and I say very specifically women. And, and I want you to take some ownership of that. I really would like uh, for you to, to leave here this morning uh, with a real burden about understanding the unique opportunity your generation has. We're, we're going to fight the fight on Capitol Hill. We're going to do everything that we can to take the resources, the, uh, whether it's Planned Parenthood or foreign aid, uh, out of uh, the abortion trade at home and abroad. But the moral persuasion uh, is, is going to take uh, Americans like yourself, young women like yourself, that are willing to step forward, come alongside a friend, and speak the truth in love. You know, I always tell, uh, I always tell uh, uh, high school students in my district uh, when the issue of abortion comes up during question and answer sessions that, uh, uh, that you know, if they, if there's anyone in the room who's facing an unwanted pregnancy, that and they are prepared to choose life whether they're going to raise that child on their own or whether they're going to 
give that child up for adoption. Um, that we, those of us in the cause of life, can make them a promise that the other side can never make. And that's simply this. That however uncertain they are in that decision, which is of course an enormous decision in their life to have a child, um, that from the moment that child is handed to them in the operating room, whether they kiss it on the cheek and hand it to another family or whether they raise that baby on their own, they'll know for the rest of their life that they did the right thing. And the other side can't.